hello guys uh, so in today's video i want to discuss about how to take um, work visa or how to apply for work visa in delhi in Kazakh kazakhstan embassy in delhi the first step is to download the visa application form that can be found in the website embassy of republic of kazakhstan in india you go to the visa and counselor issues you click here and then you can see the visa application form uh, in this page just click this link and a word document will be downloaded uh, the form is available in two languages it's in Russian and in English uh, please make sure to fill everything correctly you need to have two photos one photo you'll paste here and the second photo you will just give with the application uh, this is a fairly easy form to fill it's just two pages and uh, make sure to fill these informations correctly for example invite inviting organization you need to write the name of your company completely and also with the address and telephone number uh, once you fill the form uh, before going to the embassy you need to pay the visa fees the visa fees is applied at uh, let me show you it's paid at Kotak Mahindra Bank in New Delhi. Actually, it's in Vasant Vihar. The embassy is also located in Vasant Vihar, and this embassy is like five or ten. This um, bank is five or ten minutes away from the embassy. Uh, let me find this bank. Um, Kotak Mahindra Bank. You can see it here. Uh, you can see there are a lot of other embassies. There is Embassy of Kyrgyzstan and. Uh, oh. The other embassy of South, what is this? Embassy of South Sudan. So it's a fairly good location where a lot of rich people stay here. This is called the embassy region. A lot of embassies are there around this area. Uh, where's the bank? Okay. Mm, it looks like this. It's a, it's a small bank. Uh, you need to pay in dollars. So make sure that you have dollars in your hand before going to the bank. I don't know if they exchange uh, Indian rupees for dollars but usually when I go there I take dollars from the bank and uh, submit the visa fees. So for work visa it's uh, 200 US dollars. So you take the 200 US dollars in cash, go to the bank and when you fill in the slip uh, two things to focus is the name of the account name of account is embassy of republic of kazakhstan so in the account name you write this and the account number is this one it looks like a telephone number 9811254 but this is the account number you so in account number you write this number and the name of the bank you write uh, this name once you uh, once you do your payment please make sure to keep the payment slip because you need to give the payment slip to the embassy uh, when you apply for the visa and one more thing i want to make uh, explain is personally for me i need to have a copy of the payment slip to get reimbursement from my workplace so the interesting part is if you need to get reimbursement from the from your workplace you need to take a photostat a photocopy of the application of the payment slip before giving it to the embassy because the embassy won't give it back and let's see how far it is uh, let's see directions Kazakhstan, embassy of kazakhstan oh you can walk uh, you can walk for eight minutes uh, usually it's very hot so usually i get a taxi or an auto rickshaw and then you can go to embassy of kazakhstan the embassy of kazakhstan has two entrants uh, this picture is from the front it's a front part of the embassy it looks very neat very very classic but you're not allowed to go inside this way there is an entrance at the back you can see here people waiting outside you need to walk all around the around the block and go to the back entrance which as you can see is not so uh, not so classic so you can see this is the place where they take application and make the guests wait outside 
this is the entrance the small door and you're not even to, you're not even allowed to go inside and you can see a small shed made outside for people to wait and this is the front entrance for important guests so once you go there you need to fill in fill in the application form keep the receipt uh, of your payment what else you need to have your original passport uh, one passport size photo actually you need two one passport size photo is uh, applied on the uh, application form and you need to have one extra you need to have an invitation letter from the company uh, from the company you're going to work for uh, copy of the ID card if you have it's good but I never gave any of my copy of ID card the visa payment slip a copy of the you need to take a copy of the passport also please make sure to have a copy of the passport um, these things I have never given from myself because you need to submit all these documents to the Ministry of Internal Affairs so that they can create the invitation letter. I'm not sure if you have keep a copy, but for me personally, I usually send all these all these uh, documents: uh, criminal conviction, um, work permit, uh, letter of request for entry, everything to Ministry of Affairs, Internal Affairs, and they use them to create invitation letter. It's usually done by the company that you're going to work for. And this one also medical statement i never give my medical statement to the embassy i give it to the to my workplace they take they take all these documents and submit to the ministry of internal affairs within kazakhstan so that they can create invitation letter so for, for me when i go there i have my completed visa form my original passport two photos uh, invitation letter and a copy of my passport and finally the visa uh, payment Visa payment uh, confirmation. All these seven except this one. This is what I do. I, I wouldn't recommend for you. Make sure that you because uh, these rules in Kazakhstan always changes. So make sure you call them and ask for specific information. And once you submit the document, uh, it will take around uh, five working days. This is what I usually do. I submit the form on Monday and I go the next Monday to pick it up. It says five working days and uh, pick up uh, pick up and drop off the time is different you can go submit your applications only in the morning from 9 30 to 11 30 so and uh, and uh, you can pick up the your visa new visa in the afternoon from 11 30 to 1 p.m And uh, for more information, you can contact the embassy. This uh, email, they usually respond to your email if it's important. Otherwise, if you ask uh, unnecessary questions, when I say unnecessary, when you ask about information that's already in the website, they usually don't respond. But um, if it's a genuine question, they always respond to your email. And uh, here you can see that Saturday and Sunday is not working and Wednesday is also not working. So better go on Monday, Tuesday or Thursday and Friday um, there are different types of work visa C3 C4 C5 and C6 it's a general four types of work visa but C3 and C4 are the most popular one um, personally you don't have to worry about what types of what type of work visa that you're gonna get it depends upon the application submitted by your workplace to the Ministry of Internal Affairs so if, for me my visa is not C3, C4, C5. My visa category is M1. Where's M1? This one. M1. It's for people who come to Republic of Kazakhstan to work who are not obliged to get a work permit in accordance to national legislation or international treaties. So there's a special international treaty between India and Kazakhstan which exp which gives indians to work in kazakhstan without a work permit if they are working in an educational sector or especially if they are a teacher so me being an indian and also in a teaching educational sector i don't have i don't need a work permit that's why my visa category is m1 in the official website you can see only three categories c3 to c6 but there are a lot of other visa categories 
and depends upon uh, special cases you can see from m1 till m5 these are different types of work visa that's it uh, if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this video please click like subscribe see you soon bye